Pep Talk UK Pro B's backstage of the O2. Delighted to be joined by the manager, David Hay. How you doing? I'm doing well. That's got, that's got a weird sound to it for me. Manager what? David Hay. Manager David Hay. But is used to no longer title uh, contender, champion, or ex champion. It's manager now, yeah. So it's, it's nice. It's, it's fitting nice, and I'm happy with my. Managerial work tonight. You know, <laughs> you're, you're looking like a manager as well. I mean, I got this, got, they got a suit on, tie, you know. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. Right, as a manager, I must say the winning run continues. It does. Fantastic display today. I was happy, you know, Derek Thank you, did exactly what he needed to do. Oh, good to know. I'll catch you if you're trying to win you going there, yeah? Take care, take care. Yeah, Derek did exactly what he needed to do tonight. He, he did exactly what he needed to do. He was, he was healthy, lived, lived, lived life, you know, sacrificed in the gym, paid the price, had tough sparring. Every sparring session was against guys going at it. You know, the brief to the sparring partners knocked Derek out. And they were coming at him with heat. You know, we had Gerald Washington, we had you know, Brian Jennings, both all like, jumping in two rounds, two rounds, literally putting the heat on Derek. And he rose to the occasion. So come fight night, he's ready. He, what you saw from Derek in those five rounds, he could have done for 12 rounds. Wow. And that, that's what you need to know. He just keeps grinding and grinding and grinding. And I don't think there are many heavyweights out there who can take that type, of, uh, that type of pace. Did you even predict that it would end so soon with David Price? Uh, yeah, I thought that there was a good chance it would end in the middle rounds. I thought Derek would, would get to him. Um, I knew that Price had the ability to really hurt Derek, um, particularly early in the first two or three rounds. And at the end of the third round, he caught Derek a, a massive uppercut um, right at the end of the round after Derek had put some put some heat on on Price. But you know, it's heavyweight boxing, and when those bombs are flying, people get hurt. Um, but you know. Derek did what he needed to do, he soaked it up, he sat down, had his minute rest and was back out there grinding again. And Derek's going to work, Derek's going to go straight back to the gym, you know, a couple of days off, and he's going to get back to work, and he's going to get fitter, stronger, faster, trimmer, and uh, you'll see next time up even a better version of Derek Chazor. No cheat meals. It's easy to say that. Yeah, no cheat meals. He, he said to me afterwards that he wanted to trim a few pounds off. So um, let's hope he sticks to that. Yeah, just to conclude, just talking to a few people. A lot of people are clamoring for a fight between Big Baby and Derek Chisora. I mean, that would be boxing porn. It would be. People would love it. They can imagine the hype and the build-up. That would be absolutely tremendous. Yeah, I'm not sure what is, what is the, the, the drug ban situation is, if he is, if he isn't. Um, but yeah, if he, if he can get off his ban, then uh, I think that would be a great fight. Mr. David A, manager. There you go. Thank you. Pep talk. Thank you.